As someone who scored 250 plus on the MCC QE1, I know firsthand the challenges and pressure that come with preparing for this crucial exam. Like many of you, I was juggling the demands of a full-time job, personal commitments and family and financial hardship and a lot more. However, through a strategic and disciplined approach, I was able to not only pass but excel and I firmly believe that anyone can achieve a top score with the right mindset and study techniques. My journey began with a deep understanding that this exam is not just about memorizing facts but about developing a comprehensive understanding of clinical reasoning, decision making, and patient management. The path to a top score on the MCC QE1 is not an easy one, but it is achievable with the right mindset, dedication, and strategic approach. I will show you my 10 top strategies, plus I've got two bonus tips to help you stay on track and motivated. Let's ace this exam together. Please hit like and subscribe as we jump right in. Before we dive into the strategies, it's important to understand the structure and content of the MCCQE1. This exam tests not only your knowledge, but also your ability to apply that knowledge in clinical scenarios. The MCQ1 is divided into two main components, the multiple choice questions, MCQs, and the clinical decision-making CDM cases. Each section requires a different approach and set of skills. The MCQs test your foundational medical knowledge, while the CDM cases assess your clinical reasoning and decision-making abilities. Balancing your preparation for both sections is key to achieving a high score. Throughout this video, I'll share insights on how to effectively prepare for each component, manage your time, and stay motivated. Remember, consistency and perseverance are your best allies in this journey. So let's get started on this path to success. Together we can conquer the MCCQE1 and achieve our dreams. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more tips and strategies. Let's ace this exam together. Please hit like and subscribe as we jump right in. First things first, you need a solid study plan. Don't just dive in blindly. Focus on the essential and high yield topics first, like ethics, gynecology, obstetrics, psychiatry, geriatrics, pediatrics, emergency medicine. Then move on to internal medicine. Remember, it's about balance. You want to cover everything effectively without burning yourself out. Incorporate short breaks to keep your mind fresh. Use a calendar to schedule your study sessions and, and stick to it. Study groups can also help you stay motivated and cover more ground. Finally, review your notes before bed to reinforce what you've learned. Now, life happens and sometimes you need to adapt and not try so hard to control everything. I used to study according to my body's natural cortisol rhythm, focusing intensely in the mornings after 4 a.m. when my energy was highest and avoiding late night study sessions. Find what works best for you and don't be afraid to adjust your plan as needed. Remember, consistency is key, not rigid adherence to a schedule that's not working. Incorporate regular breaks and self-care into your routine to maintain mental and physical health. Experiment with different study techniques and environments to keep things fresh and engaging. Set realistic goals and celebrate small wins to stay motivated and on track. Are you excited about these tips? Give the video a like and subscribe. Tip number four. Remember, acing the MCCQE1 is about identifying your weak spots and tackling them head on. Don't get complacent with topics you find easy. Instead, prioritize those essential objectives you struggle with. I was really weak in geriatrics. Use tools like flashcards, practice questions, and study groups to reinforce these areas. Trust me. Focusing your energy on strengthening your weaknesses will make a huge difference on exam day. You've got this. One of the best ways to prepare for the MCCQE1 is to use a reliable question bank. Several questions are asked on which is the best. I highly recommend the ACE question bank. It's helped countless students, including myself, succeed. It seemed to be the closest 
to the real exams in terms of volume, strength, and type. Why is it so important? Well, practicing with a question bank helps you get familiar with the exam format, learn to manage your time effectively, and build confidence. There are various types of question banks available, each with its own strengths. Some focus on clinical cases, while others emphasize basic sciences. When choosing the best one, consider your learning style and the areas you need to improve. Look for question banks that offer detailed explanations and mimic the real exam closely. Ultimately, the right question bank can make a significant difference in your preparation, helping you feel confident and ready for the MCCQE1. Let's talk about summary notes on hard topics. As you study, create concise summaries of critical points. I tried more to make notes in my head, but my friend did otherwise. This will help you quickly recall important information during the exam. Remember, you won't have time to sift through tons of notes during the real deal, so having those key takeaways readily available is a lifesaver. Another great method is using mind maps to visually organize information. Color-coded sticky notes can also help in categorizing and prioritizing information. Recording audio notes can be useful for auditory learners. Digital notes on a tablet can be easily edited and organized. Summarizing on a whiteboard can help reinforce learning through repetition. This is where you really hone in on your weaknesses. Treat each practice test as a real exam. Be strict on yourself. I did practice tests every day and I will leave links in the description to free practice resources. Analyze your mistakes, understand why you got them wrong and focus on those areas. Remember, it's not about getting everything right on the first try. It's about identifying your weak spots and turning them into strengths before exam day. Use self-assessment tools and apps to track your progress. They can provide valuable insights into your study habits. Set specific goals for each study session and stick to a schedule. Consistency is key regularly review and adjust your study plan based on your progress this will help you stay on track and make the most of your study time you can't cram for this exam guys consistency is key think of it like exercise you wouldn't train for a marathon in one day would you just like marathon training studying for the mccqe1 requires a well thought out plan and dedication over time spread out your studying over time break down your study materials into manageable chunks and create a schedule that allows you to review each topic multiple times this will help you retain the information better and avoid burnout consistent study sessions help reinforce what you've learned and make it easier to recall during the exam remember slow and steady wins the race by maintaining a steady pace you'll see gradual improvement in your understanding and retention of the material consider joining a study group to discuss and review topics peer learning can provide new insights and keep you motivated don't forget to take regular breaks and maintain a balanced study schedule this will keep your mind fresh and focused consistent review sessions are crucial for long-term retention make sure to revisit topics periodically to keep the information fresh in your mind studying with the right people can make a world of difference form a small focus study group of three to four people i had a group of three people just enough to be committed and also to avoid so much talking and focus on exams preparations you can quiz each other, discuss challenging concepts, and keep each other accountable. Plus, it makes the whole process a lot more fun. Sharing resources and different perspectives can deepen your understanding, and the support from your peers can be incredibly motivating. Set goals together and track your progress to stay on target. Remember, balance is key. Take breaks and enjoy the journey. Hey, future doctors, hit like and subscribe now. Thank you. Let's talk about active recall, a super effective way to make those facts stick. Instead of passively rereading notes, try summarizing concepts from memory. Then test yourself with practice questions. Discuss the material with your study group. This forces your brain to actively retrieve information, solidifying your knowledge. 
Trust me, it's a game changer. Use flashcards to quiz yourself on key concepts. Teach the material to someone else to reinforce your understanding. These techniques will boost your retention and confidence. Flashcards are a classic for a reason. They're a fantastic tool for memorizing key terms, definitions, and those tricky concepts. But here's the pro tip. Make your flashcards work harder for you. For me, teaching others what I had learned worked best. Flashcards did work for my friends. Include visual aids like diagrams and mnemonics to boost your memory and understanding. Remember, a picture is worth a thousand words, even in medicine. Use flashcards in group study sessions to reinforce learning and gain new perspectives. Don't forget digital flashcards. Apps can help you study on the go and track your progress. There you go. Here are your bonus tips. Let's talk about the Pomodoro technique, a time management method that can supercharge your study sessions. It's all about focused bursts of work followed by short breaks. Set a timer for 25 minutes. Concentrate solely on your studies. Then reward yourself with a five minute break. Repeat this cycle four times, then take a longer break of 20 to 30 minutes. This technique helps maintain focus, boosts productivity, and prevents burnout. Trust me, your brain will thank you for these structured study intervals. Plus, it makes studying more enjoyable and less overwhelming. Give it a try and see the difference it makes in your study routine. The MCC QE1 is a marathon, not a sprint, so staying motivated is key. Remember your why, your dream of becoming a physician. Visualize yourself succeeding on the exam and achieving your goals. Break down your study journey into smaller milestones and celebrate each accomplishment. Surround yourself with supportive friends, family, or study buddies who can cheer you on. Use motivational quotes or affirmations to keep your spirits high. Take regular breaks and engage in activities you enjoy to recharge. Remember, you've got this. Stay focused and keep pushing forward. So there you have it, future doctors, my top 10 study strategies to help you ace the MCCQE1. Remember, consistency, a strategic approach, and self-care are key. Don't be afraid to adapt these strategies to your own learning style and preferences. Believe in yourself, stay focused, and you'll crush this exam. Please like and share to help us help you. Best of luck on your journey to becoming a physician. If you've liked this one, click to watch the next video on changes to MCCQE from 2025. Keep pushing forward and remember, you've got this.